Peggy Kay and welcome to our house. Uh, just like you, we're in lockdown, so we thought we'd invite you around to our house tonight for a bedtime story. So this is my little boy. Tell everybody your name. Freddie. Freddie. And how old are you? Four. Four. And what bedtime story are we reading? Pepper. Pepper. This is super Pepper. So get yourself comfy, Fred. That's <laughs> it. Perfect. Okay. It was all about me week at playgroup and Madame Gazelle wanted everybody to start by drawing a picture of themselves. Oh, said Pepper and her friends, grabbing the paints, crayons and glitter. When they'd finished, they put the pictures up on the wall. We all look very important, said Pepper proudly. You are very important, said Madame Gazelle. I'm a bit wonky, said Susie Sheep. Next, Madame Gazelle asked the children to think about what they like to do. I like dancing, said Zoe Zebra. I like standing on one leg, said Freddy Fox. I like laughing, said Candy Cat. Oh, I like howling really loudly, said Wendy Wolf. Lovely, said Madame Gazelle. You all like to do lots of different things. So now think about what you're good at and maybe what you want to be when you grow up. I'm good at being clever, said Edmund Elephant. I'm going to be an astronaut and an anthropologist. I'm good at being brave, said Danny Dog. I'm going to be a championship skateboarder. I'm good at eating carrots, said Rebecca Rabbit. So I'm going to be a carrot. Next week, I'd like you to come dressed up as what you want to be when you grow up, said Madame Gazelle. Peppa put up her hand, but I don't know what I want to be. Don't worry, Pepper, said Madame Gazelle. You can dress up as anything you like. But how will I choose, said Pepper. Why don't you talk to some grown-ups and see what they do? They can help you decide. Just then the doorbell rang and it was time to go home. Goodbye, Madame Gazelle. See you next week. The very next day, Peppa asked Mummy Pig about her work. Well, I write stories on my computer, explained Mummy Pig. When I think of an idea, I go like this. And Mummy Pig wrote an amazing story and read it to Pepper. Wow, Mummy, I'd like to be a writer just like you. You can write super stories if you like. Why don't you try? But what if I can't think of a story? You have to believe you will. OK, said Pepper, and she told Mummy Pig a wonderful story about a princess and a frog and a little prince. Wow, what a super story, said Mummy Pig. You see, when you believe you can, it helps you to do it. After lunch, Daddy Pig took Pepper to his muddy puddle jumping competition. I hope you win, Daddy, said Pepper. I might, said Daddy Pig. Daddy Pig leapt high up in the air and landed with the perfect splash. He won the gold cup and the crowd cheered. Hooray for Daddy Pig! Wow, Daddy, I want to jump in competitions just like you. Well, why don't you try jumping too, Pepper, said Daddy Pig. Pardon? Are you a bit tired? All right, well, you can close your eyes if you want to. Okay. Well, I'm not an expert like you, said Pepper, but you can be an expert if you try hard and practice. Then Pepper leapt high up in the air and made an enormous splash. The crowds were covered in mud and they cheered and cheered. Hooray for Pepper! That was amazing! Thank you, Daddy, said Pepper. Next, Peppa Pig went to see Miss Rabbit. I hope you're ready for a busy day, said Miss Rabbit, as Peppa followed her to the supermarket, then to the fire station, onto the museum, then to the theatre, and after that, Miss Rabbit took some visitors for a helicopter ride and then sold everybody some yummy ice cream. Gosh, My that was busy. Ice cream is vanilla? No, chocolate. Chocolate, oh good. Oh, now, oh. Uh, mine is vanilla. What's Daddy's favourite? I think Daddy's might be chocolate. Now. No, mine is chocolate. Oh. Daddy's favourite story. Daddy's favourite story, okay. Now, Miss Rabbit, I want to be just like you and do lots of fun things, said Rebecca. You are super at everything. Well, if you try hard, you can be super at everything. But when she got home, Peppa was still confused. She didn't know who to dress up as at playgroup. Mummy, Daddy and Miss Rabbit are super at everything. But I can't dress up at everything. Super potato, said George, it's soaring it's his... Potato. Yeah, that's his toy. That's it, George, said Peppa, having a clever idea, right. and headed straight for the dressing up box. The next day at playgroup, you all the children that. were dressed up. I see you decided to be a superhero, Peppa. I'm not a superhero, said Pepper. 
I am super. Mummy, Daddy and Miss Rabbit said if you believe in yourself, practice and work hard, you can be super at anything. So I'm super pepper. Why is she not a superhero? Well, she decided to be one. Wonderful pepper, I mean super pepper, said Madame Gazelle why, and everybody why, raced why, over why, to the dressing up box. Why, 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 why should we run Well, I'm going to tell you now. You listening? When they came back, they were all wearing superhero costumes just like Pepper. Mummy Pig, Daddy Pig and, Pig and Miss Rabbit had helped Pepper to become super. And now Pepper had helped everybody else to become super too. Super Pepper, super everyone, announced Madame Gazelle, swishing her cape from side to side. Then the last page says, we are all super. super. I think someone's super tired. Oh, you're not. Okay, you just look very tired. And then what do they do on the last page? They all have a good, a good laugh. They're all laughing there on their backs. Well, there you go. That was our bedtime story. Thank you for coming round. And we'll see you soon. Say bye, Freddie. Bye.